Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are once again speaking about a company that never ever seems to leave the headlines. Bud Light, yeah, Bud Light are still a big talking point. And let's be honest, they've always been a big talking point ever since their little situation and the controversy behind it. You can search their name on Google. Go on social media and do the same. And I can guarantee you there is a new problem that this company is facing. Now, obviously, this has all come about after they had their bright idea. And truly, ladies and gentlemen, I mean it when I say this. I'm not lying here. It does make me feel quite insecure at how smart these people uh, really are. Many months ago, they decided to partner with none other than Dylan Mulvaney for March Madness. And they also sent Dylan Mulvaney a can celebrating 365 days of girlhood. Wow, how stunning, how brave. So they really understood their target audience, you know, it's clear to see they didn't insult their intelligence and slap them in the face during the whole process but all jokes aside the brand is completely tarnished and that's all down to them they've lost billions in value as of august this year it was a total of 40 billion lost they've had to fire employees like marketing vp Alyssa heinerscheid after she wanted to get rid of the quote-unquote fratty image they've certainly done that one but the list goes on and ultimately the most important thing that they've lost is the customers so with all that i've mentioned right and i've not even spoke about everything that's happened with that company but with all that i've said you would think no company no organization no brand would want to go near but like right especially an organization like the ufc one of the most anti-woke sport organizations out there you know they endorse controvert wait wait hold on controversial figures that upset leftists and liberals progressives you know people like donald trump who seem to make an appearance here or there at some events and if you've ever heard of dana white's views on the cultural issues and even the fighters themselves there is no way you would think yeah you know what the ufc are gonna go back and partner with Bud Light because of course many years ago when the UFC was first getting started Bud Light was one of their biggest sponsors and to me I would have thought Dana White would want to stay far away but it seems like they've decided to partner with Bud Light once again in a huge mega money deal because apparently according to Dana White I don't know if he wrote this or somebody else did their company aligns with his core values. Bud Light partners with UFC in the biggest sponsorship deal in the sport's history as Embattled Beer Company attempts to fight back after Dylan Mulvaney backlash. Dana White says their core values align. Bud Light has now become the official beer sponsor for the UFC with a six-year marketing sponsorship the company's announced. A source familiar with the deal told CNBC that the sponsorship deal is well into nine figures and is the largest in the mixed martial arts promotion's history. It is estimated to be, by the way, around $100 million. With this deal, the brewer establishes ties with an organization that is perceived to be more conservative than many other sports after a tumultuous year. In April, the company partnered alongside transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney, a move that proved to be cataclysmic for the brand. In a statement announcing the partnership, UFC CEO Dana White said, Anheuser-Busch and Bud Light were UFC's original beer sponsors more than 15 years ago. I'm proud to announce we are back in business together. There are many reasons why I chose to go with Anheuser-Busch and Bud Light, most importantly because I feel we are very aligned when it comes to our core values and what the UFC brand stands for. I'm looking forward to all the incredible things we will do in the years ahead. Anheuser-Busch CEO Brendan Whitworth said, Anheuser-Busch and Bud Light have always been on the cutting edge of iconic sporting moments that fans remember forever, and reuniting with UFC is a continuation of this industry's leading legacy. So to me, this seems like straight away, this is a very desperate move from Anheuser-Busch and Bud Light to show that they have listened and, you know, made a mistake with going work. We're sorry, guys. We're sorry for slapping you in the face. But will supporting Pride Festivals be a common theme with this company? I guess we'll have to wait until next next year let's see if they really have learned their lesson but on Dana White's side he is obviously and it's clear to see even Stevie Wonder could sit there and say yeah you know what he's taken this one for the money he can lie as much as he wants right but when money talks bull also walks it just seems like a little bit of greediness coming from Dana White apart from that you know Bud Light isn't good for the brand image people look at you and now want to boycott the UFC right that's what people are calling for on social media do I think it will happen obviously not the UFC is a mega power people may cancel their subscriptions here or there but in the long term it's not going to financially affect the UFC as it did Bud Light but here is Dana White in an interview with Fox News giving a little bit more details surrounding as to why he took the deal and you know I could cut this video short and just say again he's taken it for the money but let's just see what he has to say take a watch what's interesting to me is I refuse to call for boycotts firings cancellations any of this stuff I'm against all of it I didn't like, I thought it was stupid of, of Budweiser or Bud Light to get into that controversy. Just dumb. And I have no idea why they waded into those waters. <laughs> but my fear from the beginning was not the person that made the dumb decision or the people that made the dumb decision. When I saw this taking hold, I was concerned about the people that work for Bud Light. 
Those are high paying career jobs. And I said that publicly. And I'm hoping, you know, everybody knows who you are, Dana. No holds barred, kick ass, take no prisoners. I don't give an Adam Schiff. You are in anybody's face. So they purposely went with you. Tell us about it. Yeah. You know, well, first of all, let me start with, uh, you know, they, they were the first beer company that we really did business with. They're our first real big sponsor uh, when we were getting started. And now we're back with them. And going into this deal, you know, I, I know all the controversy and everything else. But for myself, going into a long term deal with another sponsor, I want to be with somebody that I'm actually aligned with. And I know people were were upset with what they did. But uh, I'm looking at all the good things that they do. You know, they, they employ 65,000 Americans. They have thousands of vets that work for them. They spend $700 million a year with U.S. farmers using their crops to make their products and many, many other great things that Anheuser-Busch has done uh, in this country. And those are the things that I'm focused on. Uh, when I look at a long-term sponsor that's going to be, we're going we're to do a six-year deal here. I want to be with somebody that I'm aligned with. All those things that I just mentioned to you are what I'm all about. And not to mention, they, they have this thing called Folds of Honor. I'm very big into law enforcement and military. And over the last, I don't know how many years, they've spent like $45 million taking care of, uh, you know, these servicemen and first responders who have died, taking care of their families, scholarships for their kids and things like that. So I am very aligned with Anheuser-Busch. All right. So let me be clear about a few things. Um, there were other beer companies that wanted to, to partner with you, correct? Um, you certainly, I know you don't need the money because you have more money than anyone could ever want in probably 4,000 lifetimes. So you didn't do it for the money. You didn't do it, you know, you, you did it for the reasons stated, but you also knew, and it's already happening on social media, that you'd be attacked. You'd be accused of selling out. I want you to respond to those people. Well, let's be clear. When you do sponsorships, you definitely do sponsorships for the money, too. Uh, money is definitely a, a part of it. But money was not the decision making. Uh, you know, well, it wasn't the reason that I made the decision. All, all the things that I just told you are why. I mean, there's more um, to being aligned with a sponsor, a major sponsor like that, for as long as I'm going to be. Um, you, you know, th there are many other things that are important to me other than just the money. And, and the people that were all involved in this negotiation on every side absolutely positively know that my choice was not determined by money. You know, to me, and I don't know how you guys feel, this interview kind of felt like just a huge PR move, maybe, just maybe, you know, on both sides, because the questions weren't that hard hitting. And even when asked the question of, well, why did you take the sponsorship, Dana? Uh, he looked a little bit uncomfortable. And you're not normally used to seeing that because on the mic, Dana White is big. He's strong, you know, he knows what he's going to say. But here, it seemed like he was looking for XYZ excuse. And of course, when you're looking for those excuses and you're lying, you're going to feel a little bit more uncomfortable. You know, it's easier for you to come out and just say the truth. Hey, look, I'm taking this for the money. But instead, you go along the lines of, well, it's not the biggest factor. Factor. Of course it is. When people see that they're tied with Bud Light, now when they see the Bud Light sponsor at these events, people are going to tie you in with that controversy. So again, you know, I am really surprised Dana White went down this route. Of course, the money talks a lot, right? But sometimes you've got to sit back and think to yourself, okay, you know, we stand for certain values. Maybe don't go near that company, regardless of how much money they're offering. It just seemed like, again, greed overtook Dana White and everybody else. On Bud Light's part, it just screams desperation and they're trying to salvage anything they can because when you think about it, with this sponsorship, they've gone from one extreme to the other. It's very weird, but leave your thoughts down below on this situation. Ladies and gentlemen, are you a UFC fan? How do you feel about this sponsorship? I'd like to know. If you have enjoyed, then please for me also make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Share this video, but until next time, it has been your boy JD. I'll see you on Saturday. Have a great day, stay safe, and I'm out. Peace.